Oh, this is a common one. So we have a trough made of a rectangular strip of metal. Metal is bent at right angles, so it's x centimeters high along two sides. For what value is the cross-sectional area a maximum? So we want to figure out in this question what maximizes this area. That's the cross-sectional area. So that's what we're concerned about. Well, how do we figure out that area? Well, we know that area is going to equal x times, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this, for lack of a better word, or lack of a better letter, I should say, y. The area in here is going to be x times y. So that's going to maximize the cross-sectional area. Now, what do we know about this piece of or this strip of metal? Well, we know that this side here and this side here and this side here are the entire strip of metal. They got to add up to be this length, 50 centimeters. So that's how we're going to use for our second equation. We know that 2x plus y is has to equal 50. We're trying to maximize the area. So we're going to take this equation and we're going to put it in here. So let's solve for one of the variables. Now, this is where we get to make our own decisions and our own choices. Let's keep around y. It makes the math easier. So we solve it for y. So now, area is going to equal x times 50 minus 2x. If I expand that out, I'm going to get 50x minus 2x squared which is negative 2x squared plus 50x. So I get to this point, and now, of course, do the exact same thing. Complete the squares. So I took out the 2. Now, half of 25 is 12.5, and it's negative in this case. Put that in a little square. And 12.5 squared is plus 156.25. And I'm just going to adjust my brackets because it's not quite big enough here. And of course, if we put plus in there, we have to go minus 156.25. And as always, we want to keep that positive one inside the bracket. And outside the bracket, we take the 156.25, multiply it by 2, and they're both negative, so we get plus 312.5. And when it's all said and done, we have an area equation that is x minus 12.5 all squared plus 312.5. So there is our quadratic. Now, once we have our quadratic, now we can go back and answer the question. Now, there's a number of things you could be asked. You could be asked to find this value, the height. You could be asked to find the length. You could be asked to find the area. All of those come from this equation. So what does this ask us? For what value of x? So we're only concerned about this height. We don't care what the maximum area is. We don't care what the width is. We're only concerned about x. And that even makes it easier. Let's look at our equation. Where is this maximized? Well, of course, this tells us that when x is equal to 12.5, that's our maximum. Again, word problems. We always need to answer word problems with a sentence. The value of x would be, in this case, 12.5. And we've got to make sure if you're put in given units, we put the answer back with units. So there's our value. Maximum value of x would be 12.5.